Hi beautiful people, this is Aline in a new video. Today I'm in this park because my first class got canceled and I didn't know, I got to school and they were like, oh yeah, the first class is canceled. And I don't have this app that everybody used to see your classes called Libros. I was not able to see it. And I came to this park to record for you a video about the application process for Flex Abroad, Yes Abroad and NSLAY. Science, it's already open. If you don't know me, my name is Aline Miranda. I'm 18 years old. I'm an exchange student from USA, spending my gap year here in Poland, completely free thanks to the Flex Abroad Scholarship. And today I'm going to give you some tips that I would like to know when I was applying. So let me find a seat to get comfortable and start with this video. Okay, so I can see it was raining everywhere is wet, but I found this seat. So to start, I will tell you a little bit about what I have my notes here about what's uh, Flex Abroad and all of those programs. Basically, the US Department offer scholarships to study abroad an academic year or a summer program to high school students. They have four different programs, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yes Abroad, Flex Abroad, NSLAY, TBYX. Those are merit-based scholarship. That means everything depends on your achievements and your abilities as persons. So if you get into the scholarship, everything is for free, like, like flights, school tuition, uh, meals, host family. And, and you also get a stipend each month to cover your basic needs in your host country. Flex Abroad offer uh, programs three countries, which is Poland, Kazakhstan, and Georgia. Yes Abroad offer the programs, if I'm not wrong, in Bulgaria, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Malaysia, Egypt, Morocco, um, Indonesia, 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 uh, and North Macedonia. And NSLAY offer a different language this year those are arabic chinese hindi indonesian korean persian russian turkish and they also have a virtual program some of the requirements are like the basic one you have to be a u.s citizen being enrolled at high school at the moment that you're applying for example i was applying my senior year right now this is a gap year there's any gpa requirements and also there's any previous knowledge requirement to go to study abroad because once you get there um, you have extra classes to start to learn okay so what are the expectations that the program have or what kind of people they are looking for they are looking for somebody who are able to take a risk challenging person uh, somebody who are not afraid to take uh, those challenge to go outside to communicate with local people to understand and get to know their host country open-minded person mature independent flexible adaptable those are some of the skills that these programs are looking for in a person you can also see in the links below what are the goals of each program each one has different goals for example yes abroad it's more focusing countries with significant Muslim population, uh, flex abroad in Europe and Eurasia, and NSAY is more focused on these eight languages which are important for the US. But in general, they are looking for this kind of person because they are basically sending a high school student to the other side of the world. So they want to make sure that you don't want to be homesick and you are not going to be like depressed a lot and missing home and you are able to communicate with your host family with the people so yeah the application process consists in three phases the first one you have to fill up uh, basic documents like your personal stuff uh, also the first phase is the longest one like for me it took me almost a month to fill up the whole application you have to write essays to ask for recommendation letters and also your parents have to write something about you you have to write a letter for your host family uh, and list extracurriculars outwards honors uh, sports all of that it's a very very long process but definitely worth it i would say to put a lot of e4 in this first phase once you get 
over the first phase you are basically semi-finalist that means that you are literally in the other side now you are like this to get the scholarships for this part of the process i would recommend you to start early don't let it until the end or until the last day ask for a recommendation letter to some kind of authority that know you not just as a student or the academic or sport life but also you as person that you have this connection with this person for example in my situation i choose my history teacher mr cavazos because when i arrived to united states i, I didn't speak english and i started to go to extra classes with him and it was basically him and me he started to know me more who i am like not just like a student but also my behavior my ways of think and everything so we had a really good connection and when i asked him about my recommendation letter he wrote a very very good things about me and i don't i haven't read this letter actually but my host family did and they were really impressed when they read it because they were like okay this girl sounds really interesting so i would recommend you to do the same but for your essays everything that you are writing write with the perspective that you are a very independent flexible mature person that is basically what they want to know about you and how you face challenge in a smart way so they want you to write about situations where you face this kind of hard um, decisions so be really smart when you are writing about it um, if you need any help you can text me in my instagram or here in my youtube channel and i will give you more detail what i wrote my essays about for your host family letter you are basically describing yourself and this is part of the application process as well because they will read it probably your host family won't read it but i know from some people that their host family read it so i'm telling you because mine was not really good enough and was kind of embarrassing but my host family didn't read it at the end the most important tip that i can give you for this part of the process have a why you are applying like why it can be anything i hear from people that they had a friend that was from an arabic country and that's why they became so interested because this friend started to show about their culture and they wanted to know more um, i know from other people that they had international student in their school and they they want to go overseas because they want to learn the language and being able to communicate in their in the native language of this person also probably you have some roots with this country and so yeah like it can be really really anything anything but have a why a clear why you're applying also where people want to apply they tend to think that these programs are just for students who are interested interested in international diplomacy or foreign service or international studies you know and it's not like that the program loves when somebody don't want to be an international diplomat or a foreign services they love it they love when somebody who wants to be maybe a doctor or architecture or firefighter or nurse or wants to have an experience overseas so if your passion is not to do foreign service or work for the world or all of this no worries <laughs> just be yourself you know this sounds kind of cheesy but just be yourself if you're actually passionate about language and cultures and to serve to the world and foreign service and diplomacy uh, also write in your application i'm very passionate about it and i am then get into because it's something i really like but if you don't like this and you're just trying to write something to fit into the program don't do it don't lie in your application because when it's time for your interview you are showing that this is not true the requirement re equipment equipment i'm sorry but yeah you, you understand here's the word these people the the team uh will know so show what you're passionate about why you want to have this experience and if you get into the interview congratulations this has been a really really thorough process i know personally i think the interview was my strongest the strongest part of my application i can do another video so this one doesn't get really really long 
for today this is everything i really hope you like it and this skin works for you remember that the first phase is open until december 7 and for yes abroad until november 11 if i'm not wrong if you have any questions you can put it in the comments and i will be more than happy to help you i really encourage to all high school students to have this experience i know it's not for everybody but if you really like it i swear you're going to enjoy it so much this is a life-changing experience for me i cannot wait to come back to the us and talk about all the good things that have happened to me so far and i cannot believe i'm living in poland i'm living in poland and it's like wow 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 i have friends in the other side of the world i don't know guys it's super crazy like for me it's so so crazy i'm in poland um apply apply to this program do it do it do it do it do it so that's it for today see you next video bye bye